Hey guys, Chris is Super Fast RC, and today I'm going to be explaining the difference between HTC and LTC diff gears for your AE RC8 platform. Uh, these go from the RC8 B3 up to the B4 and B T3 to T4. Um, of course, your electric models as well, the B4E, you know, T3.2E, all that good stuff as well. Um, so what does it all mean? What is the definition of HTC and LTC? So HTC means high torque capacity and LTC means low torque capacity. Um, basically, meaning the resistance and the amount of force needed to make the diff action work. Um, with the HTC gear, which is factory and it comes with the kit. Go ahead and zoom in on it here so you can see a little better. These are the HTC diff gears. Here's the sun gear. These, these are the planet gears. As you can see, the entire uh, face of the gear is basically geared, right? And the same on the planet gear, spider gears, whatever you want to call them. They have a lot more teeth here. Basically, the entire surface area of the gear face is teeth. Now, when we come over here to the LTC gear diff, we have a smaller sun gear and different looking planet gears, right? So we have less teeth right here, less surface area of this gear on the HTC. On the LTC, you have more of just like metal here, and then you have a sharper, steeper diff gear uh, angle right there. So you have less contact patch with your sun gear than on the HTC. So what does it all mean? What's it mean for the car and how it performs? So with the HTC, you're going to have more surface area, more tooth engagement. And basically, you're going to have a little bit notchier of a diff than you would have with the LTC gear diff. And what that's going to help with, and I like to say this, uh, another way to think about it is HTC means high traction condition for me. LTC means low traction condition, even though that's not what the definition means. So... I would use an LTC gear diff set here in a low traction condition where you have a lot of dust, uh, some loam, cooler temperatures out on the track, and you need to make get as much traction out of the rear end as possible. I would definitely go with the LTC gears in my front and rear diff. Center, I would leave HTC. I wouldn't touch that. So if I were running on a hot, uh, higher grip track, grooved up, summertime, probably going to run a HTC gear set in my differentials. So another thing I want to talk, touch on with the LTC gear diffs, you're going to want to use different weight fluid than you would with the HTC. On the LTC, it's been recommended not to use anything lower than 10,000, uh, 10K in the rear or front. So what I would run in the front is like a 12K. The center is HTC, so I run like a 10 or a 7 or eight and a half, kind of a mix. And in the rear, I would run 10K. So 12, eight and a half, and 10 uh, for a LTC setup. And you could go as high as 15 in the front if you wanted to. So what does it all mean? What does this all make up? So on the car itself, uh, statically on the bench, there is a noticeable feel difference between the HTC and LTC diff set. So these are LTC, and they are like butter. I know you can't really tell this through the camera, but the, the, to, the tooth engagement on an LTC gear diff is much smoother than that of an HTC gear diff. I'm going to pull out my Truggy here, which has an HTC gear set in the Truggy. And I know you can't tell on camera, but here, I can feel the tooth engagement on the HTC gear diff. It's slight, but it's there. On LTC, you can't feel the tooth engagement. So the gear, the diff action is just smoother and it's gonna lead to more traction on a lower traction surface. Um, there are other uses for it as well, but for me, if I'm on a low traction surface, cooler temps, or I'm really looking for the most grip in the rear that I can get, I'm going to run an LTC gear diff set. If I'm on a you know indoor or covered track that's hard packed clay, um, 
I'm going to go with HTC gear set. Also, like I said, the HTC having more surface area is going to be better for higher temperatures. But you'll want to keep in mind that when you run an HTC gear set, you're going to have to change your fluids up. You're going to want to go to a lower fluid just because you're going to have more friction with the larger gear set right here. So keep that in mind. Another thing I want to just let you know, if you're going to run LTC in the Truggy, you're going to want to make sure that you're running a heavier weight oil than you would in buggy because the heat and the forces that are going to be generated with the larger tires and more power that happens in like each ruggy for example are going to be harder on the gear set itself i on one hand probably wouldn't even recommend running ltc in the truggy unless you're like running on a super low grip track or i don't know i, I, I probably wouldn't do it but if you want to, you can, it's an option. It will fit and it does work, but you do run a little bit of a durability risk for running these in Truggy. I just want to show you the difference here on the back side. We'll zoom in again. So you can see there's a big difference in the meat we have here. See this gear diff? This is the HTC. It's a much bigger gear. This is the LTC. You can see them right there. There's a different tooth count and there's a big difference in size. So there's a lot more meat in the HTC gift gear, diff gear than in the LTC. So keep that in mind if you are gonna run it in Truggy, might wanna take it easier um, and not send it just quite as hard with the LTC as you would with the HTC. But you can do it, it works. A lot of people do run LTC in the Truggy and have great results with it. So um, basically the takeaways from the video LTC, low torque capacity differential gear set, lower traction conditions, lower temperatures. HTC, high torque, gift, diff, uh, high torque capacity diff gear set, and higher temperatures, higher traction conditions. Pretty easy to remember, right? Low traction conditions, high traction conditions, low, high. Anyways, just want to put this video out there, clear any confusion when you see HTC, LTC, uh, it can be confusing. What's the difference and why is one better than the other? I hope I've been able to help you in the video here. Decide which is best for you and probably both is a good option to have in your tool set, right? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. It's been Chris Superfast RC, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.